all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel and it looks like the wait might finally be over for the big reveal for the elden ring shadow of the earth tree dlc so we're going to talk about that big reveal as well as according to some new leaks the dlc is about to get even bigger as you know elden ring was one of from software's biggest games to date and it's also hands down their best selling this open world adaptation of the classic dark souls formula managed to sell over 20 million copies in its first year on the market and earlier this year the studio officially confirmed that a paid dlc shadow of the earth tree was in development from software often releases huge expansions for their games so this really isn't surprising but with the sheer amount of hype around elden ring in particular many fans like myself are eager to hear more about the dlc so we're gonna go over everything real quick guys i'm giving away a playstation 5 slim to one lucky subscriber as soon as i hit 140,000 subs to enter it's super easy all you have to do is subscribe to the channel comment your twitter handle tweet me or send me proof that you're subscribed and i've also got some further details and bonus entries in the pinned comment check the video chapters for easy viewing and without further delay let's get started so starting things off as you probably were aware shadow of the earth tree was first announced in february of 2023 which was around the one year anniversary of elden ring's launch but ever since then we've all been kind of flying in the dark in regards to when we could expect to see this thing and get a better idea of when it's going to be launching so the big question is when will we get the big reveal well with the game awards right around the corner on december 7th i think it's safe to say that our first glimpse of the dlc will be during that event multiple insiders have stated that they expect that shadow of the earth tree will be shown off relatively soon so a reveal at the game awards in december and then a launch in february of 2024 would make sense and it would align with what those insiders have been saying february 2024 would be the second anniversary since the game's release in 2022 not to mention if you look at the history of elden ring's marketing schedule and just how from software does marketing they've utilized the game awards before for their big reveals so if the dlc is coming in february they might as well use the biggest stage in gaming for the reveal i personally think that jeff Keighley has secured this dlc reveal at the game awards however However, with GTA 6 allegedly being revealed in early December, maybe FromSoft will make the decision to hold things off, but like I said, it's hard saying. If the insiders are right and we do get a reveal during the Game Awards, I am fully expecting a February 2024 release date. Next up, let's talk about the official development update from none other than the Katakawa Company, which is From Software's parent company. This has been our first update regarding the development of Shadow of the Earth Tree, because outside of this, as well as some job postings, everything has just been kind of comms dark. But recently, the parent company for From Software held a earnings call where they gave a development update on shadow of the earth tree which was as expected and that the development was proceeding smoothly now this is basically just pr talk they obviously don't want to overextend themselves because providing further clarification would possibly get people and investors to think that the dlc is coming very soon when the reality is is we just don't know this is pr jargon for them saying let from software cook now shadow of the earth tree has been a core component in terms of investor relations because they've been using this as a talking point for quite a while as many investors seem to think the DLC is really going to be a big deal when it drops and they're definitely correct about that so we have from software's parent company openly talking about how well the development is going on the game we have a known from software leaker and insider saying the reveal is coming next month and the DLC will likely drop in February so yeah I think it's safe to say that everything is all coming together if the parent company didn't mention Shadow of the Earth Tree during the earnings call or rather the Elden Ring DLC during that earnings call I would say that the DLC is probably further out than we all expect it to be but now that we're told that it's proceeding smoothly that right there is at least good news I do have some doubts about when the expansion will release as well as if we get the reveal during the game awards but I'll talk about that just a bit later now let's talk about the biggest part of this video and that is the size of this DLC from software is known for making gigantic games that make people sink thousands of hours into it so it shouldn't be that surprising that the first Elden Ring DLC has taken so long to develop according to howlongtobeat.com Elden Ring's main story is roughly 58 hours long assuming you're not doing any of the side quests and it'll take you well over 100 hours if you want to see all the game has to offer and so much more if you are a completionist and you just really enjoy Elden Ring so naturally a DLC for a game or rather an expansion this big is also going to be pretty huge and according to another from software insider they recently kind of spilled the beans on just how big this thing will be or at least how they think it will be so recently a souls content creator known as fighting cowboy recently stated on a podcast that the shadow of the earth Tree DLC is going to be over 20 hours long although the podcast was taken offline we don't know why it was taken offline but it's just not online anymore fighting cowboy also stated on twitter that they're expecting shadow of the earth tree to basically be half the size of the base game which is absolutely ridiculous and would make it easily the biggest from software dlc to date this content creator has previously been invited out to play from software games so they definitely have connections to the company although i'm not going to speculate on whether or not this was insider information or if it was just indeed speculation on fighting cowboys part my guess was this was all just speculation as well as educated guesses based on from software 
Sinclair's previous work, as well as how long the DLC has taken to develop. Having a DLC that's 20 to 30 hours long would be absolutely insane by modern gaming standards, but it would also be pretty par for the course with From Software. This is the same company that is known for putting out expansions and DLC that can add dozens of hours of playtime to their games. And as I'm sure you guys already know, just because the story takes 20 to 30 hours to get through, doesn't mean that's all that there's going to be for you to do. Again, Elden Ring is a game that people put hundreds, if not thousands of hours into, regardless of how long the actual main story is. So if the DLC is roughly half the size of the base game, that could easily be another few hundred hours worth of content for the diehards. Elden Ring is about to get a lot bigger, and I cannot wait to see what From Software has been cooking for all of this time. With all of this talk about the size of the Elden Ring DLC, this does raise an interesting question about pricing though, as we don't really know how much Bandai Namco is going to want to charge for something like this. In the past, From Software DLCs have been pretty reasonably priced, but it's also been almost a decade since Dark Souls 3 and its expansions, so needless to say, times have changed. Video games are getting more expensive by the year, and paid content like Shot of the Earth Tree have been kind of falling out of style. I personally remember when basically every AAA story game was given a DLC, or was at least expected to have at least one paid expansion by the time the sequel came out, but obviously those days are long behind us. So I honestly have no idea how much Bandai Namco is going to want to charge for Shadow of the Earth Tree, but my gut's saying that it's somewhere between $30 and $50. There's no way they charge a full $60 or $70, but given how big it actually is, as well as the fact that new games are costing $70 nowadays, they're likely going to want that number closer to the $40 range. It's possible that they even crank it up to $50, but that might be pushing it given the fact that the base game will be basically two years old by the time the DLC drops. I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this whole situation behind the dlc cost and just how it's going to be priced do you guys think it's going to be 40 possibly 30 fingers crossed that bandai is feeling generous but also possibly 50 dollars if they're feeling a tad bit greedy i personally think 40 dollars is probably going to be the sweet spot for something like this because we have to remember that bandai is marketing this dlc not only to people who have played the game before but also to people who may want to pick it up for the first time and try it out with all of this new content meaning they don't want the price tag to be too insane because that might push potential new buyers away from it but also elden ring sold over 20 million copies so the installed user base is already pretty freaking huge so they may be feeling confident about charging more for the expansion since they may be thinking that everyone who would have bought the game would have already done it already but again let me know your thoughts on the price in the comments because in a perfect world it'll cost 40 dollars. but depending on how bandai is feeling as well as whether or not they're going to call it an expansion or if it still will stay a dlc it might end up being 10 dollars more or less as of right now shadow of the earth tree is just a dlc but i can easily see from software put the extra time and development and make it a whole expansion that way they can charge a bit extra and make the expansion eligible for nominations for game of the year just like cyberpunk 2077 phantom liberty i'm sure they want this content to be a massive hit just like the base game but the only way that they do that is if they make sure the pricing is right as well as the content in the dlc lives up to the critical acclaim of the base game now that we've talked about the reveal the pricing the size of the dlc i'd like to now shift focus to the release window again let's say the insiders are right and february is going to be the release date for the elden ring dlc february is likely going to be a great release window for this game because while 2024 has some awesome games on the lineup the first few months are pretty open january has some pretty high profile games like prince of persia and like of dragon and sure february has killed the justice league and helldivers 2 but there is nothing on the same level as elden ring and as proven by armored core 6 people will flock to basically anything with from software's name on it even if they know nothing about the series i'm expecting in Elden Ring to get the same kind of major attention that new releases get despite the fact that it's an expansion similar to how the long-awaited cyberpunk expansion got a ton of big marketing pushes to get people back onto the base game leading up to the release of Shadow of the Earth Tree will likely get a ton of advertisements for Elden Ring to make sure that everyone is thinking about the base game and then once the DLC or expansion drops it will be the only thing on anyone's mind now if we don't get a reveal during the game awards this year I still think it's safe to assume that a 2024 release is happening maybe they need to shift things due to development time lines and reveal shadow of the earth tree during summer game fest and then release it later on in the year of 2024 it's really hard saying at this point from software has worked on the dlc for nearly two years so they should be wrapping things up relatively soon that is unless the dlc is bigger than we all expected to be and if that's the case we could be waiting more like 8 to 12 months from now to be playing it i am personally just happy that we are getting new elden ring content even if the dlc isn't as big as we were hoping it'll give me another reason to jump back on the game and experience the world with fresh content which which is really exciting but what do you guys think are you excited for shadow of the earth tree what kind of new content do you want to see from it and how much are you willing to pay for shadow of the earth tree are we going to get a reveal during the game awards 
or will we have to wait a bit longer don't forget to enter the 140,000 subscriber ps5 slim giveaway i'll be giving that away as soon as i hit 140k subs like the video if you enjoyed my coverage subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on and until next time this has been wes and i will talk to you guys in the next video